Welcome back to the Tracy Trendy Show, my lovelies. It's another day, it's another dollar, and it's a family feud. Yes, my loves. We got Troy in one corner of the ring, we got Soraya, and we got the Queen Karen in the mix as well. Apparently, my loves, it gets grimy. All everybody's business out on Front Street, and it started for me. It was twenty five dollars, and and Zariah and and Troy told Karen mm -mm 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 -mm. they told her the wrong words. They said they ain't got it. So apparently, um, Karen's having an issue with that. She was like, "Well, you had me available to be shooting this show. Took me out of my own corner of the world to be." Piping up your storyline, and I don't get paid. And they're trying to explain to her how Sharp Entertainment pays out. But anyway, they were like, You gave the baby mama a hundred dollars, and uh, you got 90k in the bank. What about me? And it, and it all balloons. And so, I guess the moral of the story is do not ignore Karen, do not ignore her because, um. Or basically, don't talk grimy to her either. Because Karen said, it's a damn shame people get on TV and they're talking in, to another level. And it's sad because now I'll no longer be talking to my son or his and his wife is a non-factor to me, so she doesn't count. My loves, I am doing translation because this is not the best grammar and there's no punctuation. So, anyhow, um, she does... Wishes Yana a, a happy birthday. She considers her Troy's real wife. And Zariah is just a side piece. And when she posted that, here, this is what uh, Troy did to poke the bear. He said, suck my eggplant. Stupid. He said, stop being messy. Nobody got to give you money every time you ask for it. F out of here. Clown ass mother of mine's. Y'all mad nobody gave her money. Mad because my wife gave my baby mama $100. So then, you know, she was like, okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. What did he say? And Karen goes on to say the story thickens. She says, I ain't done with that. Here I go. I have to translate. I have to use the best English I can use. And I'll get a little, you know, and, and they don't come with punctuation marks. But anyway. She says the story thickens. She says, I ain't done with the asses. You told me to suck your eggplant, your eggplant. I wouldn't suck your, your, mm, your, let's just say, your spotted booty if it was the last thing in the world. You and her got spots on your private parts telling me to suck your eggplant. Who want to suck that? So the video is going to start, my lovelies, with the Troy telling, telling Karen to take down the status. So I mean, he's going to mention it eventually. When he says you change that status, he means take that stuff off. Take all that business off there. But when he's telling his mother to, you know, to suck the eggplant, glimpse more off of, you know, because Karen is about these streets. And so she's like, okay, you're going to treat me like somebody on the street. I know I didn't raise your ass. We're going to be strangers then. So I'm going to put your business on. I don't have no honor for you. That's the way I'm interpreting it. But anyway, I mean, if they drag Karen into this mix, they could have had their little love after lockup storyline. They didn't have to drag Karen into this. Zariah knew what she was doing. She wanted to spice up the story. Because she know, she know, she knows. And everybody in there knows that Karen is wretched and she's good TV. So um for no longer for no longer ado, I'm gonna play this video, my loves, and you guys, you guys enjoy. Hey, let's call Karen. Let's see how she do. You feel better? You feel better, mom? You 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 expose your son. Now everybody know I'm fucking retarded. Everybody know I'm fucking crazy. Everybody know I'm belligerent. This is what you wanted, right, mom? This is what you wanted over some fucking stupid ass twenty five dollars. Yeah, she hung up. 
This is what she do. This is what she do. She hide. Hide behind the phone. You can say whatever you fuck you want to say about me. People here. Hey, let me stop it right here. Because I know. He said, Karen said, he's a liar. Don't believe him. He's effing a liar. He wants everybody to feel sorry for him. He's 30 years old. He's a liar. The truth been came out. So y'all need to not believe him. And someone says, why do you care? Mind your business. They're talking to Karen. But here, let's go on. $25? That, $25? That's what I tried to tell you. $25. That you could have that you could have just called me for and got this morning. $25. You didn't call me. You didn't call me. You didn't call me. You text my. It's just buffering, my friends. See how she talked to her son? This is how my mother talked to me. This is how my mother talked to me. So they're airing out their business on social media, my loves. Airing out their business. I read some of the captions too. Because some of the, the followers are saying, hey, what's the cash app? We'll give them the $25. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Who next? Who else y'all want me to get? Somebody else say something. Somebody get on here and say something to me. Somebody else get on here and say something to me. So I go talk to talk. Put somebody else on blast. Y'all want to keep playing? Y'all want to be messy? This is what you like, mom. You like this shit. I knew you was going to do this. I'm telling the truth, too. I'm telling, I'm telling the truth, too. I'm telling the truth, too. I'm telling the truth, too. $25. That I would have gave your ass. I would have gave you $25 fucking dollars. I just woke up. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. You talking about something when I was two or three years old. I'm 30. You talking about something when I was two or three years old. I'm 30. Do you get talking about it? Do what the fuck you say. So then stop fucking beefing with me. Tell me that you love me. Be my fucking mother. Stop doing this dumb shit. You don't. You don't. You don't. Stop fucking beefing with me. Take that fucking status down. Take that fucking status down. I would have never got on here on no fucking live and did no shit like this. Take that shit down, you my fucking mother. You look crazy right there. Oh my God, <laughs> shit. Hurt people, hurt people. My mother been hurt for a very long time and she hurt every last one of her kids with this shit. Stop fucking doing that shit. Told her to take that shit down. Told her to take that shit down. Take that fucking status down. Take that status down. Take that status down. I'm sitting up here hungry as hell yesterday. I asked for 25 motherfuckers. Mom, Zaria said when you asked her for money, she did not get paid yet. We do not get paid until after. I just, this is her exact word. I know she said. She said we took the rent. I said, oh, okay. We did. We got rent to pay. $90,000, mom. Where, where's 90? You, you seen me with $90,000? Your wife told me. I didn't tell you that. Stop lying. Hang up the phone on Mom, stop. She's always Take that status down and, and stop. That's it. You did. Talking. You started all of So there you have it. Anyway, someone says love after lockup doesn't pay like that. And people are saying, get off the live, blah, blah, blah. But it's not, I don't think it's the love at the lockup. They have this nonprofit that, you know, this agency is supposed to be counseling people. 
and uh, Zariah is going to be a counselor, and they're going to be re a, a reach out um, agency for the people who need support. And it doesn't seem like these individuals know how to control themselves and get on live, and they expose all, all everything. And Zariah, she ha has a diagnosis of bipolar, allegedly. And apparently Troy doesn't want her on medication. That's not good. That's not a good look, especially when she has to be calm and composed when she's dealing with clients. And when they see her acting buck wild and possessed, why would you want to devote your time to seek help from them? I'm just saying. But anyway, my loves, that's just a little the part I heard, you know, here and there from the curb. You drop a line below. Subscribe. If you have not subscribed, because you're not going to get this commentary anywhere else, as well as hit that notification bell every time you see it, my loves. All right, I'm going to end it here. I'll catch you all out on the flip side.